also known as Awesome Map Network. It's the it's the Awesome Map Network. Network, yeah, yeah. Map Network. Welcome back to the Mr. Donuts Awesome Map Network. Today we're going to see how we can use double line graphs to help us solve percentage questions. Today's question states that a brand of cereal advertises that its box now carries 20% more than previous boxes. If the new box carries 108 ounces of cereal, what was the capacity of the original box? You'll see that I created a double line graph. On the bottom I put my percentages. I got 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 percent. Why did I count by 20s? In the word problem it said that the increase was 20 percent and 20 goes into 100 very, uh, e well, goes evenly. 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 percent. So in this last notch that I left blank, I'm going to fill in with 120 percent. Above it I have the ounces and I left them blank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the information I know. What I what I know is that 120% represents 180 ounces. You might be saying, Mr. Donuts, where did you get that from? Well, I know the increase is 20%. They're asking me the original amount. And an original amount is always 100%. And the way I would suggest doing this is asking ourselves, well, how many notches do we have here? We have 20. We have 20%, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 108 by 6. If I divide 108 by 6, that gives me 18. So 20% is 18 ounces. Now what I can do is if I want, I can fill in the rest of this table. And since it's here, why not? What's 18 times 2? It's 36 ounces. 18 times 3. Got my calculator here. It doesn't hurt. It's not cheating. 18 times 3. 54 ounces. 18 times 4, 72 ounces. And 18 times 5, which is going to give me my 100%. The original box had 90 ounces in it. Now, if you wanted to do this a shorter way, once you realize that 18% represented 20, you could have said, oh, well, if I know 18% is how much is going up by, you could have done 108 ounces minus 18, and that would have also given you the 90. This is a way to display to someone visually percent increase and percent decrease. As long as you make sure that you have the correct amount of notches in the percentage, that will allow you to dictate the percent increase versus the percent decrease. Mr. Donuts, Awesome Map Network. It's the, it's the Awesome Map Network. Network, yeah, yeah. Math Network